Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews and on this episode we're going to be looking at Brunswick's brand new Fanatic BTU or Better Than Urethane. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. As we said, we're looking at Brunswick's brand new Fanatic BTU, or Better Than Urethane. Now for years, people have been asking Brunswick to bring back out a urethane ball. In fact, we haven't seen urethane since the Karma Urethane was released August 8th of 2012. Well, when they released that ball, they had something else in mind, and it's finally come to fruition with the new Fanatic BTU. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the ball, Scoops? It has an eye block core in it, which is similar to the Fanatic, but they've changed the density on it and decreased the differential, which... Makes it really smooth. Yeah. Um, they tested seven different covers until they found one that absorbs oil which is not like traditional urethane, mm -hmm. and it's very slow response. Yeah, this ball is designed to be three to four boards, less hook than the sole, and much slower response, so that way when you're playing difficult patterns, you can be confident that this ball won't overread or overhook. Now, it's also designed that you can polish it to bring four to five feet more length and turn it into a fast response ball, making this perfect for, well, short, sport, and wet-dry conditions. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here's Wayne Porter, our low-speed, low-rev player. He's blowing, like, Kegel Main Street Old Pattern. Now, normally, you would not see a low-speed, low-rev player playing your thing. No. <laughs> There's no real need for that. Um... <laughs> And you know what? I think the last time I saw Wayne play urethane, I may have still been not even a teenager yet. <laughs> I might have been in diapers, to be honest. I don't know. Um, I'm not that old. Um, yeah. You know, one of the one of the marks of the BTU that that I really liked, and I talked about it on on a, a live stream, yeah. was that it has that it it has that property to get down lane, as opposed to original urethane yeah. that kind of burns up in the burns front. Up, yeah. And that oil absorption definitely keeps your back ends fresh so the ball continues to finish. For somebody like Wayne, that's a perfect thing yeah. because if, if those back ends get tight for, for him, yeah. he's sunk. Yeah. Well, and it's nice to be able to have something like this that he can go to because, like, when they burn up and everything, he, yeah, he's a low-speed, low-red player, but that low speed sometimes gets him in trouble. Oh, yeah, definitely, right? especially when they're burning up. Yeah. Now, here you are. Tell me about your experience with the ball, Nick. Wow. <laughs> I was um, expecting urethane, like yeah. you said. Rolling early, nice, subtle, make that move, direct to the pocket, and like the ball says, this is better than urethane. You can see I had to actually move in and swing it a little bit and play it closer to a low-end reacting ball, but... It's much more controllable. Mo yeah, and this is the burn. Like, we, we made sure we tested it where it was supposed to be tested, and... Wow. <laughs> One thing I did notice watching you and watching Wayne is with urethane, especially when they're in the burn like yeah. this, it expends a ton of energy. Yeah. And, I mean, you're, you're more likely to leave solid 10, yeah. stuff like that. And this ball has a, a no, lot. It's, <laughs> that one just threw the pins up. I yeah. mean, it's it's got kick. That's the thing. It, there's still lots left over when it gets down there. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad they took their time bringing this ball out yeah. because this really is more than just urethane. Yeah. It, it I mean, I've, I've already played this on difficult conditions when I couldn't get anything else to work. Yeah. Uh, here I am. You can see I'm playing just about in my regular spot with yeah. this. Um, I, I have uh. made no bones about the fact that I could probably play this all night in my league. This could be the first yes. ball out of my bag. So for you high rev players, keep an eye on this ball. Yeah. You might want to get two of them and just kind of drill them slightly different and just bring them. Yeah. Bring them in your shoes and then I think you'd be happy. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you could add the original Fanatic. Yeah. 
and this and have a full arsenal. Yeah. You can see this one, the last two, I've straightened up a little bit. Woo! Because that's usually when I lose yeah. my carry, and you can see both of yeah. them, I've carried them out. Oh, boy, there it is just, a lot of pin action on yeah, this ball. It's It now, was surprising. Like Now, being a high RG ball, um, I knew it would have a little bit more power, but when yeah. they lowered the differential, which smooths it out, yeah. I thought we'd kind of lose it again. Yeah. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, definitely no doubt that this ball hits hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. The 8 and 9 right. just hit each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> the ball's supposed to hit them. Yeah. Oh, man. Now, here's Cam. Here's our super high rev player. Uh, and for him, he generally... Oh, my God. He generally yeah. only gets to play uh, entry line equipment be yeah. because of his uh, axis rotation, yeah. because of his rev rate. And... He was excited to throw this yeah. ball. Look, and look at the pins. He's hitting light, which would usually be a flat, flat seven. Yeah, and he's just tearing the yeah. rack apart. Well, in some other year, then you might leave a five seven hitting that light. But it's true. And but now, this one, because it still has that energy <laughs> and makes that <laughs> look at him. yeah yeah <laughs> and continuous you, motion across the deck. It's crazy. And you can see this ball isn't actually making its roll until it hits the uh, the hash mark. Yeah. Which traditional urethane would be already? Oh my yeah, god, see? that was, that a was five a five seven, seven yeah. but it carried it out. Yeah, the traditional urethane makes its move in the first twenty five feet. Yeah. So this is this is a real departure. Yeah, but still continuous, still very controllable, yeah. and yeah. it should be your urethane ball in your bag. Oh yeah, that, absolutely. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Lanesside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program is sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's choice. Plantronics Rig, stereo headset and mixer. Play more, pause less. And Logo Infusion. Look the best, be the best, infuse your game. Logo Infusion.